Hey everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to this class, the Blackboard page for this class, and the Connect Assignments page for this class. When you log on to Blackboard, <laughs> you will see, if you scroll down a bit, the first announcement that I posted on this Blackboard page it was also sent as an email. So hopefully you received it as an email yesterday. If not, I will insert a plug here for you to update your information in the system, in the Blackboard system. That way you will receive any emails uh, that are sent through the Blackboard page. And of course, the sooner you get important information, the better. And you always want to put yourself in the position of getting the information you need as quickly as possible. So if you didn't get the email, please update your information in the system. And if you're not sure how to do that, I would contact the ASU Blackboard personnel so that they can help you with that. Unfortunately, I am not able to do that. So I would encourage you to contact them if you need some tech support. Now, that announcement included a lot of really key information, and this video is going to overlap that one quite a bit, but certainly we'll go into greater depth. So this class is eight weeks long. It is 100% online, it is asynchronous, and it is a 300 level science class. That said, there's a lot of responsibility on you the adult learner to set and keep a schedule for yourselves and to stay on top of your work and not let it slip by. Because Alabama State bears the responsibility of helping prepare you for the next step after graduation, that means we are responsible for imparting hard skills as well as soft skills. I am adamant about emphasizing soft skills in my class. And the two that I will highlight here are conscientiousness and timeliness. Because I feel it is so important for students to develop those skills, I don't want to encourage, I never want it to be said that I encourage students to not be conscientious and to not be timely. So that said, late work is generally not accepted in my courses. If you have a valid excuse that's recognized by ASU, of course I'll accept the late work. And then once you've gotten your excuse note, I will count the work for credit. But in the absence of that, no late work is accepted. So your work is generally speaking going to be posted on a Friday and due the following Friday by the end of the day. So you'll have seven days in which to complete, in which to complete your assignments. Speaking of assignments, you may access those via the menu on the left-hand side of the page. Your, you can access your weekly connect assignments by clicking on this tab. You'll notice they all pop up with the respective due dates listed underneath. And if you click chapter one, which is due on the 24th, that will take you to the Connect system where you can access those assignments. Now I will highlight here, this screen is not what you're going to see. That's the screen that I would see as your instructor. I will click Student View. This is actually the screen that you'll see when you log on. So once this screen opens, You'll notice there are locks beside the material that we have not yet gotten to. When, when, during the weeks when we cover that material, those will be unlocked. You'll see there's only one that is unlocked because we're only focusing on chapter one this week. So you click there and up pops all the key information. How long does it take? When can you start? When does it do? How many points is it worth? And begin. Because this is not a tutorial for how to use Connect, I'll go ahead and exit out of here and go back to the Blackboard page for the class. I just wanted to show you how you can access that. There's a separate video 
on Connect that I posted for you. Now, so that's how you access the weekly Connect assignments. Accessing the weekly Blackboard assignments is just as easy. You'll notice when you click on that tab, there are two due for the first week. And I always try to put the, the due date in the title so that'll help keep you on track. Okay, so that's how you access both the Connect assignments and the Blackboard assignments. Let me take you back to the menu and work through that with you. First step is my contact information. While I do provide my phone number, I encourage you to contact me via email. And I say that because our system, phone system at ASU is not the most reliable and the voicemail system is even less so so i encourage you to send me an email these are my office hours and if you'd like to schedule an appointment with me during my office hours i encourage you to do so using this link it's just as easy as that i use an online scheduler so for example if you want to meet with me on wednesday the 22nd just click it up will pop all of my available times. Click one that works for you. And then you'll notice my information is already populated. Uh, but it's just that simple. You enter your information. Tell me what you would like to discuss. Tell me the method for meeting that you would like to use. Face to face, over the phone, Zoom. Um, gosh. Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, there's so many options, actually. There's just a ton of options, but just let me know. Now, I will say here, I want to direct your attention to the time zone. Please be sure to make sure that you enter the central time zone. Another student, just as an example, she entered Pacific time zone for whatever reason, and she showed up two hours early. Why? Because the system gave her information in terms of the Pacific time zone rather than the central time zone, which is actually what we're working on. Uh, so I said all that to say, just be conscientious and everything should go well with that. Now, back to Blackboard. Okay, so announcements, I've shown you uh, the first announcement. The second announcement I'm still working on and should update that shortly. Please make it a point to check these regularly. As this is an eight week long class, things will go quickly. So you'll want to make it a point to stay in the know, set and keep a schedule for yourselves and do all of the work early or on time. And you should be in really good shape as the semester continues. Now, clicking on the syllabus and schedule tab, will bring you to this page. The syllabus is posted. I will not go through it. I don't want to insult your intelligence. I know that you can read, but I will check to make sure that the link works and it does. And I will draw your attention to the top of page three, because I want to make sure that I say up front how your final grade is going to be determined. 30% of your grade is going to come from Connect assignments. 60% of your grade will come from Blackboard participation assignments, papers, discussion board posts, journal entries, blog posts, etc. And then 10% will come from a cumulative final exam. Back to the Blackboard page. There's also another document that's posted, and this in this one details for you the key points to take away from this class, such that after you finish this class, there's a lot of stuff that you should have learned, but it, it details that information in a list format just to help keep you on track. And also you'll notice when it comes time for you to prepare for the senior exit exam that our psychology department has, this document will help serve as a study guide for this course. 
It's accessible here, but it's also accessible from Mrs. Hatchett, who is the departmental administrative assistant, and her office is located in Abernathy 415. Then finally, the schedule at a glance. Here I've tried to detail for you what week we will cover what material and relatedly what assignments will be due. Now I probably won't update this schedule to, to list every single assignment that is due because I clearly detail that in those tabs I showed you at the beginning of the video, but you can certainly use this information to stay abreast of what is due and when it is due and when we will cover it. And I've tried to map that out through our eighth week, which runs through uh, the first week or so in October. So I think that's all of the hot spots that I wanted to hit. If you have any questions, I encourage you to send me an email and let me know. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, everybody.